Hey ya! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Is it my first time here? No. I was here back in 2018, all the way to 2020. Then I decided to delete my videos. Are you wonder? But I'm back. I love being online. This is my space. I love showcasing my life. I love the camera. So due to public demand, I am back. <laughs> what should you expect in this channel? Food content, I'm a foodie, lifestyle content, and uh, travel, and all things in between. My name is Nedi Suabella, but you can call me Nedi. I am 25 years old, a crop print buddy, a Gen Z, just living my life, minding my business, and I would love to take you along on the journey. So come with me! Finish Kumalondo Kudonjo Kudunda and your Tuna Dunda Kudonjo must tighten it deadly. Kona Rambo and Yambo substance over high. Happy Tuesday. Good morning. Um, it's two days to my trip. I'm going on vacation with my mom, so it's a uh, it doubles up as a lot of things. It's my birthday vacation. It's mom daughter vacation. It's Easter vacation. It's just everything all together. And it's two days. Today is Tuesday. We are flying on Thursday. And so I want to use this remaining two days to prepare for the trip. I am off work for a couple of weeks and I'm excited about that. So spend the day with me as I prepare for my trip. So basically today, what we're going to do is undo my hair and do it. As you can see, it's done. I just needed this cornrows for two weeks. It served its purpose, it's fine. And then I also need to go and change my nails. So I'm not able to go and do my nails where I usually do my nails because it's in Nairobi town. And right now I don't have the time to go there. So I'll just wing it around where I live and see if I get something manageable, something that manages the trip because after this trip I also have another trip. So something that manages the two trips is fine by me. So I'm in a t-shirt and denim skirt and I think I will wear these sandals. I find them very comfortable, these butter sandals. So I think that's what I'll wear. Um, anything else not really so i'm going to the salon my salon is will undo my hair wash it treat it and then do the hair in general and then i'm planning to also do the nails as i do the hair because just to save on time i also have a lot of things to do this final uh shopping that i need to do like there's an outfit i'm looking for and i'm not sure if i'm going to get it not necessarily for this trip but for the next one so i need to go and check that out at think twice kitengela and then i also need to go to the hospital because i actually have a thing <laughs> i have uh i'm like almost allergic to humidity or allergic to humidity and so every time i travel down to the coast i get very bad hives my body flares up it's painful it's red you can imagine i'm dark skin and then my skin is red so it's painful it's red and i don't want the same experience so usually i get steroids injected so i'm going to get the steroid injection today try to get some antihistamine painkillers and any other medication that the doctor may recommend to support me in the few days that i'm going down to the coast okay okay so let me pack my bags and show you what i'm carrying then let's head out I'll be carrying this bag of mine just that just has my fan it's been extremely hot and it has my toiletry bag, my wallet, wallet and my what is it called? Power bank. And then of course my phone. Also need to get a carrier bag because there's also an outfit I'm supposed to pick from the tailor. So I had an African outfit done for me. So I need to pick that from the tailor. What else do I need? Not done my need to smell good in this weather and just 
while I eat, I just realized I didn't even use my roll on. So, we can do it together. Me, the heat is so much, like it's extremely hot. Me, I hate it here. I hate it here. Like at night, I, I literally don't even wear clothes to bed. <laughs> Someone said that's very risky, but I'm willing to risk it. Anything over me being cooked at night and boiling. I don't have earrings on. Do I want to wear earrings really? Do I want to wear earrings? Nope. I just decided to wear the earrings because you never know. You might just meet your husband out here and you're looking unkempt, you know. So, at least these mini loops are my go-to anytime. You know, sometimes I just don't want to have a lot of things on. Let me pair this mini scent. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. My appointment was for 10 a.m. It's now 9.45. It takes roughly 15 minutes from my house to the salon, so I think I'm good. Guys, it's 9 a.m. It's 9 a.m. Like 9.30. 9.40 to be specific. Look at how the sun is on my face. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Ama to go hell. Love that to go hell. It's so hot. God damn it. It's so hot. Like if you're walking around by the without sunscreen. <laughs> I don't know. Literally in my paka lip bam niki toka konyumba. My lips are already dry. Dry. Drier than the Sahara. Hey, hey, hey. I hope I get a bike. Ooh, there's a bike. <laughs> Let me get the bike and just go. Because what is this? I'm not even exaggerating. It's so hot. National Bank, how much? National Bank. So. Hey, join Kalia Subui. So. Uh, okay. One eternity later. Finally, I got to the salon. My hair was undone. It was washed and it was treated. At this point, my salonist was down into action. And by the way, if you live in Shengela, I highly recommend Masi. I'll leave her contact in the description. Please give her business. Then I was also doing my nails as I did my hair. Then we were done and we decided to go for shopping together with my salonist. Then we went to Think Twice. This is our favorite place to shop, by the way, because everything is organized. One thing about us, it's so hard for us to thrift yani we just want to see things in hangers but also if you're not careful at think twice you might end up overspending so it's good to go with a budget and an idea of what you want to buy so this was me just trying to pick out outfits and then uh, i decided to go and try on some shoes and some of the clothes that i had selected to go and fit and see if i'm going to purchase them thereafter we went to beyond fruits and vegetables we saw some amazing flowers which are actually affordable and also just to get some juice we just wanted to get juice this juice really slapped it was the actual pineapple mint it's a favorite flavor of mine so that is what I selected that's what Marcy also selected um, so we were living beyond fruits at this point just sipping on our drink and we decided to go and have some lunch so we went and had nyama choma we bonded we spoke it was such an amazing time to catch up with that friend so on top of being my salonist Masi is a good friend of mine and i really appreciate her finally thereafter i decided to go to my usual hospital at this point you'll see this hospital in this vlog and in other vlogs one million times because i have issues with my respiratory and this is my go-to hospital so 
After registration, I was taken to the triage to take, check my weight and my pressure, which was actually so high. And uh, at this point, I was just taken to the doctor for more information, who actually even recommended me to see a specialist that's an ENT. But that's a story for another day. So I just spoke to the doctor, got meds, and went back home. The next day. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Today is one day to my actual date of travel. And as you can see, I have a load of clothes that I did laundry. I did laundry on Monday. So I need to fold all of these clothes. These are my only, they are my clothes, but I've worn them for like a month. I've been so busy, couldn't get time to do my laundry. But also these outfits that I am traveling with. And so that's why I really just need to do the entire load, organize my room, clean my room, and then pack. Um, are you going to pack with me? Um, yeah, so I think that's what we're getting into. Uh, excited about the trip. <laughs> excited, very excited. Um... I think right now I'm set. I have everything that I need, probably apart from antihistamines and piriton, the medicine. So those are them things I didn't get, but also I'm not worried because I can still get them from there. But uh, yesterday I did everything that I needed to do, got my steroids, uh, did my hair, as you can see. It makes looking shaggy because it's in a messy bun. I uh, also did my nails. <sighs> Let me tell you. I literally don't like red. I, I do not like red, but for some reason yesterday I just wanted to do red. I don't know if it's actually a thing. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, uh, stay with me as I quickly fold on these clothes and then organize my room. And then uh, we are going to pack in this video. Uh, meanwhile, you can subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying the content so far. Also like the video, share it with your networks. Um, I'll really appreciate it. Thank Guys, I'm done folding and uh, sorting my outfits. Uh, these are the ones I'm going to the coast with. Some of them still need ironing. And then these are the, just the rest of the laundry that I did. So I need to organize this in my suitcases. Then start prepping for the journey. I decided to do a packing list to help me with this trip. I was referencing Olive Orawa's video. She has a video on Instagram where she went to Lamu and she had a whole packing list Excel sheet with all these details. So that is basically what I was referencing as I wrote down what I needed for the specific days. So day one, what do I need in terms of outfits, accessories, shoes, and everything in between so that is what I was putting down together it's really important to do a packing list it really helps you stay organized and not forget anything or any important detail that you need for a trip thereafter it was time to iron my favorite outfits <laughs> one thing about this trip I literally overpacked not so bad but some of these outfits i just realized as i'm editing this video that i literally did not wear them i have literally not even worn them to to date as i edit the video and it's like two weeks past the trip but at least they were there and they were part of the trip well hey guys my back oh my god i'm done ironing my clothes so and also my mom has dropped hers we are sharing a suitcase and i really hope it's going to be enough because me i have a couple of things so i'm hoping it works out actually my back is painful oh my god yeah so i'm going to pack in the suitcase again
step one was to move the items close by and then using my packing list just tick off as I packed into the different wash bags while at it my mom also came to the room just to bring most of her stuff and I was also confirming with her according to the packing list have you brought this have you brought the other have you brought the other yes and some of the items she forgot she brought and then we also i also selected my jewelry and then we fit our items in the different wash bags for ease of organization when we put them in the suitcase so that is basically what you can see me doing at this point So everything is packed, here is my bag which has my essentials basically and my go-to carry-on, everything that I need as I walk around. Uh, and then this is my suitcase that has everything. Um, I had uh, paid for checked in luggage so I'm allowed to carry perfumes that are over 100 ml and lotions and everything like those. So this has been fit perfectly my uh, outfits my mom's outfits my shoes her shoes and everything so this is how it's looking <clears throat> i think once i close it we're going to be good yeah so basically that's it uh i hope you really really have enjoyed uh watching me prep and pack for my trip was I able to wash my room? Lord! <laughs> I was just tired. At some point, I even just did take a nap. But it's fine. As long as I've packed, I'm good. My room is still going to be here. When I come back, I'm still going to clean it. But at least my clothes are well organized in the suitcase. Um, what else? So, for an in-depth packing video, I am definitely going to do a reel on Instagram and a TikTok video. So, please make sure you click the link in the description box where i'm going to link my instagram account and my tiktok account by the time this video goes up i'll ensure the reels for what's in my essential bag and uh are uploaded on those socials uh also engage with me in the other socials i would really 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 love to have you in my community if you did enjoy this video please share it with your networks and subscribe to my channel uh give me the motivation to create and not give up this time uh if you didn't it's fine just come back next time probably the next video will be more interesting uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one bye